27 continues to investigate multiple sexual assaults in the Northeast and who's responsible. A man was caught this morning and police say he confessed to rapes in Poland and along the Berlin Lake Trail. Sean Wenling was taken into custody along Route 224. DNA evidence had linked him to three rapes, rapes last night and police found Wenling this morning. Police say without that DNA testing, they would probably still be looking for him. Right now, Wendling is charged with one rape in Portage County, but more charges are expected. This morning after he was in custody, um, you know, there was a great sign of relief uh, because even though we have, you know, female victims, you know, our guys look at as this could be their mother, could be their daughter, could be their sister, and they take this job very seriously. And they were pleased, very pleased, extremely pleased to, to make the arrest. Police say there was fear that the sexual assaults and rapes could continue to escalate to something worse. The DNA testing, which led to identify Wendling, very interesting. I'll explain how it worked coming up at 6, and you'll want to hear what Wendling told police after he was caught. As news of the rape cases in the region was spreading, those using hike and bike trails around admit they were taking extra precautions. We found a number of people today along one of the trails in Mill Creek Metro Park who say while the stories of assaults on women made them nervous, they weren't about to take chances with their own safety. You're going to look at your surroundings. No cars, we're not coming. Someone's too close behind you, you're stepping back. You're always, you know, you're... Your eyes and your ears always have to be aware. Both local police and those teaching self-defense courses say being aware of your surroundings is a common sense key to staying safe.